you brought up the Big Bang. Where does the Big Bang sit in the multiverse theory? Right. So the thing we know observationally, the universe is expanding. Think of it as a movie. Run that movie backwards. It's contracting. And because gravity is attractive, and in fact, dark energy is only important now. In the past, it was irrelevant because it's so small. So as you run this movie back, the universe is contracting, and it was contracting faster and faster as you go back because gravity is attractive. Things are getting denser. And that means you hit a singularity, a point of looks like it has infinite density and infinite temperature, mm -hmm. roughly 14 billion years ago. So that's what's, that's what's called the Big Bang. It's an extremely hot, extremely dense phase, which running forward in time again was like an explosion that flung everything outward. Now, we don't know what came before that, if anything. Uh, we can't, we don't have any direct measurements of it because the universe was opaque back then. It was like a ball of fire, like the inside of the sun, only hotter. So you can't see through that. The sun is opaque. Beam a laser pointer at it. doesn't come out the other side. So you try to look back far enough in time and you don't see that. You see, you run into a, into a wall. Um, so we don't know what came before. But in these theories of the multiverse where there, there are these uh, transitions that I mentioned, quantum transitions where regions can appear. In those theories, uh, regions of the universe can pop into existence through a quantum fluctuation, which look very much like the regions we live in, like the, the region we live in. They produce eventually large universes that are expanding at a certain rate. And that mechanism of producing those regions is not in itself singular. It doesn't involve infinite temperatures or infinite densities. And it's actually possible to understand within these theories using standard techniques that we use for other theories in physics. It's a kind of a first order phase transition. It's not fundamentally that different from a bubble of, uh, of carbon dioxide appearing in a, in a glass of champagne. It's a similar sort of transition. So it might be that the Big Bang was a transition like that. And if so, it's actually not the beginning of time. There is something before the Big Bang, which was whatever parent state our uh, region of the universe originated from. Um, and it's mathematically you know, understandable and, and uh, it's not a singularity that can't be resolved. So this is one possible resolution of the Big Bang singularity. It doesn't actually totally answer the question because that region that our region appeared inside of also had to come from somewhere. Mm -hmm. And because of this uh, fact about Einstein's theory that I mentioned before, that it insists that the universe is either expanding or contracting, you still have some kind of beginning if you go far enough back. So there's still some initial singularity that we wouldn't be able to understand this way. So it, it's not a full answer to the question, but the thing that we call the Big Bang, the 14 billion year ago event that produced the region we're in, that one can be resolved uh, this way.